Thank you very much. Uh, first, I'd like to say that it's an honor to be here today and to be able to be introduced by Tim Waters. Tim has worked tirelessly to support our cause and has been a tremendous athlete, asset for college athletes. I'm looking forward to telling you a little bit about the college athletes rights movement and our recently formed union, Kappa. Northwestern quarterback Kane Coulter came to me because he also believes college athletes need a union. A few months later, with Kane's tremendous leadership and the backing of the United Steelworkers, football players at Northwestern University made history when they became the first college athletes to assert their rights under the labor laws by signing Kappa union cards. These courageous players sign union cards because college athletes across the nation are subject to unjust NCAA rules that put them at physical, financial, and academic risk. They sign union cards because universities are free to stick players with medical bills while they shower their coaches with multi-million dollar salaries. They sign union cards because NCAA sports needlessly treats their brains as collateral damage. They sign union cards because players are used as human advertisements for shoe companies but can lose their eligibility for eating groceries when they're hungry. They moved to join Kappa for the same reason you all joined the United Steelworkers, to fight for the dignity and protections that people deserve as human beings, as American citizens who work hard each and every day. After they signed the cards, many doubted that we'd win. But thanks to a, law, a strong legal team assembled by Steelworkers General Counsel Rich Breen, Northwestern football players made history again when the NLRB director ruled that college athletes are employees with the right to unionize. 